Hi, Joe Paprocki from Loyola Press for a pop-up prayer. And today our guest is Jane Ragasa Mondoy, who is the director of the Office of Religious Education for the Diocese of Honolulu. Aloha, Jane. Well, thanks for joining us today. Aloha, Joe, and to all of you. Oh, great. Well, let's talk prayer, Jane. Uh, we were chatting before we turned the video on, and, and you mentioned to me that you like to follow a pattern of stop, look, and listen. Uh, tell us more about how this relates to prayer. Yes, thank you, Joe. You know, I chose for my background here <laughs> a scene. This is my paddleboard here. Oh, let's see. On this side here, the nose of my paddleboard. Because it's I love being on the water and how it naturally connects us to prayer. I think it's because the ocean is such a primordial element of God's creation. Right. And in that connection, that's where I hear more clearly God asking me to stop and look and listen, you know, to stop holding on to the concerns of the world, to look at the world through God's eyes, to perceive the world through God's eyes, to seek beauty. How can you not in this kind of surrounding, yeah, right? Sure. Um, and to listen to God's message for me. And, you know, we know it's always a message of love, even when it's a challenging message. Yeah. Yeah. And if we don't have a paddle board, how do we know when to stop? <laughs> uh, and, and how often do we need to stop? What's your advice on that? Oh, gosh, everyone should get a paddle board. Okay. But, you know, I think in terms of stop, there's some, um, you know, we know that there is there's a formal discipline for prayer that allows us to stop. Of course, the, the beautiful praying the scriptures daily. Um, that's a beautiful form of prayer, liturgy of the hours, the mass, the, our ultimate, a beautiful formal um, discipline of prayer. Um, and then there's what I call situational prayer. <laughs> you know, um, a, a while back, an author, Stephen Covey, wrote that book, you know, The Seven um, Habits of Highly right. Effective People. And one yeah. of his famous quotes from that is, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And in that space is the freedom to choose our response. And as Christians, we believe in that space is God's voice. This is where prayer is. And when we discipline ourselves, we forget that muscle memory so that in these situations, it becomes a natural response to enter into prayer, to ask God, what is your intention for us in any given situation? So this is um, when we are to stop, we can discipline ourselves to stop formally, and then we can learn how to stop in any given situation to listen to God's voice. And sometimes we're forced to stop just because we <laughs> run out of steam, right? You know, Definitely. that happens too. Yeah. Yes, so yes. in closing, Jane, uh, what kind of uh, practical advice can you give us uh, to get the stop, look, and listen going in our prayer lives? <laughs> well, you know, I think part of it is knowing that we may stop give ourselves permission for that. <laughs> I think that in this very busy world, uh, it's, it's important to remember that we can stop and enter into prayer. Uh, and just in doing that, that gives us that space, that gives us that opportunity to look and see God's beauty, God's creation all around us and to listen listen for God's uh, intention for us, what he has, um, what he desires for us. And it's a way of centering us, making the right decisions and um, you know, keeping in step with God's will for us. That's beautiful wisdom, wonderful wisdom, uh, Jane. And we're going to stop uh, now as well. Thank you for sharing your, your wisdom with us and helping us to look at this notion of stop, look, and listen in our own prayer lives. Well, thank you, Joe. It was a real pleasure. And I hope you all have a chance to get a, a stand-up battle board and be part of God's creation. <laughs> I love it. And even if you don't get a paddle board, stop, look, and listen for God yes. in your life. So thank you to all of you for joining us for Papa Prayer. I'm Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless. Thank you. Aloha.